Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey into the medieval world of War Tales in order to follow our band of mischiefs on their adventure to explore and fight for survival as a mercenary gang. Last time we got to know the basics of the system and now on day two we are actually starting our journey. There is a group of people here. Who are they, by the way? Are you bandits? We have nothing. We are only refugees fleeing the Ederanian war. Oh, uh, I wish I could give you a bit I more, guys, but well. Oh, thank you so much. More influence might not be hurtful. We need to get food on the uh, table though so today is going to be the hunt for food i think moving on uh, the road might be the fastest way we got another knowledge point uh, we could learn how to run perfect to get away from pursuers or we can learn how to ration which i think we're going to do right away because that is our first problem our next one will potentially be paying wages, so frugality will come in soon. Uh, what else? Troops can add objectives marker to the map. Um, suspicion meter depletes faster. Well, that's okay. Cannibalism is a bit too rough for this playthrough, so I don't want to go through that. You really should rest. Okay, it's overtired. Where's the tired uh, meter? You can rest at a campfire in your camp, feed your troops and pay the wages. Um, we're going to do exactly that. Let's new. No. Well, that's good enough as a meal. Unhappy food requirements not met. Ooh, we need to consume alcohol. Well, too bad, we will need to get some alcohol. The troop is well rested, you gain two additional, what was it called, Valor points. Troops happiness increased by plus three. Uh, we assign everybody at the campfire, food requirements not met. Troops happiness is now eight, companions are pleased. Maximum Valor points increased by one. Cool. Well, that's not bad. Let's leave the camp and... Who are these guys? Anything to declare? Keep your nose clean and you won't hear from us. Ooh, that's a different... Uh, that's a different party. Well, we don't know how strong they are and I don't... I'm not really looking for a fight. Alchemist, that would be a great profession for Namri, I think. Uh, so, what does alchemy give? Plus one dexterity. Um, that's not really a good profession for you, then. I think... Dilly G is uh, selecting alchemy, whilst... Uh, Pauli is selecting Tinkerer for that extra crit chance. And what is our option here? Hand Bomblet, small iron capsula, highly explosive powder. That sounds great. Oh boy. Well, the only thing that we have is some confey. 
And with Snow Iris and a Vial, we can create medicine, which apparently seems to be quite good. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Fish oil. Sharpening, uh, sharpening oil. Okay, so uh, judging from other RPGs, this might become important because we want um, to be able to craft. One, two, three. Let's not go overboard. One, two, three. We at least got vials now, which is helpful, but we don't have snow iris. Is there anything else that we could theoretically do? No, we could Why steal something, but that would really not, sure not fit the characters. We have 20 crowns left, not a lot. You. Yeah, you. You looking for work? The wife of a man condemned uh the kind that pays much better than the measly rewards the mercenary guild has to offer. I love it. You speak my language, I like it. So the wife of a man condemned to the gallows is desperately seeking help. Someone needs to help with an abandoned tower. At least that's what they are screaming out of the window. A refugee is looking for mercenaries who can fight as well as they can negotiate. And Captain of the Guard is looking for mercenaries to help bring down crimin criminals to justice. I think I want the tower. So we're using our Renau. Anything else I can do for you? Well, no, but that is fantastic so far. I love it, which is great. So we do have an option here our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled we regularly up the brotherhood wishes to see vitar squad dead these bandits have to uh, despoiled the merchants one too many times okay easy hard hard easy well why does hard only pay so much uh, more uh, so little more than an easy mission Bandits have been attacking caravans and traveling along the roads. This must end now and the merchants will refuse to travel through the Tiltrines. Easy for 160. I think we're just going to take that. Seems like a easy enough job and it is right next to our other job. Cool. Just out of interest. Can we take a different, uh, another job? There is no contracts accepted. Okay, cool. We can accept multiples. I see. Uh, bandits have taken up residence. Uh, time to kick them out. Okay, this year tells us northeast, southeast, southeast, southeast. So southeast apparently is a little bit the harder zone. I'm going to stay clear of that now, for now. The bandits took everything I had. I have nothing left to lose. Okay, here we could theoretically gain additional recruits, but yeah, we, we don't have the money for that. But you do have a fine beard, my friend. If you pay well, I'll come with you. Nothing scares me, ah. Well, you should be scared. Only a fool wouldn't have any form of fear or self uh uh, Self-preservation. Brandy. One, two, three, four, five. For good measures. 
Apple pancake is fantastic. Okay, apparently you can later cook like ginormous meals. I already figured that that would be the case. Feel free to come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. Okay, cool. Well, we're out of here. Three hands market. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. Good, we're not going to uh, buy a lot here. Please, can you spare some food? Uh, we're sh not so good. Thank you so much. I will pray for you. But we need the influence for better, uh, for more uh, tasks. I understand there's a war in Edoran, but that doesn't mean they can just help themselves. So I want to keep on, uh, hang on to the medicine. But we don't really have a lot of great items to sell at this point. So... We'll just leave it as is. So this is where we get all of the good food that we can then cook a little bit later. If we take blacksmith, that gives us plus one strength. And that is exactly what we want, a blacksmith. We need leather, iron ore and wood. We can get that all from the market. You can use my anvil. How expensive are these? Oh, moderately. All right. Finally, town hall. Are you mercenaries? Why? You ask. You have your work cut out for you. There is no lack of. Good. Maybe this will be kind of the story arc a little bit later but we're departing from here for now and i would like to put a marker there so Um, almost. We need to go this way. What's for here, by the way? Let's just double check. Yeah, we could catch something. Unfortunately, we don't have any means of getting more ore at this point. Good, our little band of misfits is running in this direction. Bit of uh, wood, that's good. I see. The Lady Mayoness has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. Okay, hand over a prisoner, which would be us. No, 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 that's not happening. Yeah, well, I think we'll think about that. Thanks. But of course, we're getting ambushed for no particular reason, so finally a fight at our hands.
Okay, so whom are we going to take first? Moves up. And takes a good shot. Nice hit. I like it. Moves slightly back thanks to our uh, extra speed. Enemy engages Namri. Is now engaged. JP Pauly. Moves up. Oh no, it's uh, it's not him. Mm. Can we take that turn back? Potentially not, right? I selected the wrong character. Very unfortunate. Can we uh, ready for approach? Potentially can't. Well, that was a waste of turn. Good. Oh no, oh no. Good, we're continuing. This guy definitely... Uh, we, uh, we definitely need to get out of his direct reach. Moves to here. Not good. Moves to here. Uh, sort of okay, I guess. Alright, end of turn. Next up, uh, we are moving to here. In and out. Good hit. Uh, disengage will trigger an attack of opportunity, but this guy might hit very hard, so I don't know if it is net net positive. Hmm. Our front line is wavering. Nah, not not so fast. Moves to there. And then a laughs at this guy. Uh, we are moving right out of his uh, mm, zone of attack. All right. Move up. Nice. That was a great crit. I like it. Moves in. Moves out. And end of turn.
Oh, that one will be good. Alright, end of turn. 10 points of damage. Okay, Polly is definitely uh, on the retreating end for now. Let's move to sort of here. End of turn. A bit of healing. Takes our Valor points. Um, and then enough turn. New round is starting. Well, I can tell you what we're going to do. Move to here. And make sure that we're focus firing. Do you want to let them go? Yeah, sure. Damaged armor and injured. Well, yeah. Here wounds and let's repair the armor. We got three human bodies. I don't think that that will do us any good but we got a strength plus two a strength plus two weapon with a malm skill a maim skill all right so we have uh, received that extra axe here which indeed is a chipped axe that's a one-handed weapon Got the bravado skill, uh, skill but it apparently only fits for jp Pauly, but he is our two-handed axe or two-handed weapon guy so we're not going to use the axe for him anyways i just found out something else as i was scrolling through the menus apparently every single location on the map does have an uh, extra little side quest hanover prisoner here uh, buy a pony and then uh, get horseshoes for free or find a blacksmith for a storm camp or strong cup so apparently we can look uh, complete up to 28 of these locations and in purple we can see the uh, main storyline so let's do exactly that and start uh, working on the main storyline shall we There seem to be ruins in here. Let's explore them real quick. Yeah, that might have been exactly where the bandits have been located. And before we are fishing let us double check if we can actually create hooks lock picks yes fishing hooks a yes as well so let's craft three fishing hooks that's good get some more experience in torches would be an option as well Cooking pot. Uh, you can cook nutritious meals that grant bonuses for the troops. Oh wow, that one is great. We need eight iron ore 
and we got enough wood so that looks fantastic camp chest play uh, place items you wish to keep in the chest hitching post uh, you can assign your ponies to improve their comfort and carrying capacity tent an extra plus one uh, during our rests let's start with the cooking pot and we'll get the rest going all right time for some fishing that's a fun game Good, I'll fish a little bit and then we'll continue. Perfect, done fishing. Apparently we've got uh, all of the fish out and we have um, just received the Apprentice Angler uh, option plus one willpower, but also critical hit plus two. So that is not bad. Can fish uh, fishing huts and lets you craft sturdy fishing hooks. So how would that look? Sturdy fishing hook needs bait. However, we're getting that, but we're, we'll figure it out. It seems the group wants to rest and that is fine. Grabbing some more wood, and then we're just going to rest. One alcohol. And a lot of food. Danger levels average when dangers are abroad. Well, we're just going to go with it, I suppose. So, troops happiness increased by 5. We're now at 13, which means we're almost at uh, that nice little threshold of 15, where we get more experience. That's what I'm trying to do. Out of curiosity. Oh, okay. I see. There. Oh, we were uh, doing a very risky maneuver. Apparently everybody has just taken a rest. Uh, that's not great. So you need to put a couple of uh, people to take watches. Good, time for three boars. Can't be that difficult. 22 hit points. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Well, we got a tree here. Boars typically charge. So what I would want to do is... Put ourselves behind the tree. Deal heavy damage. Uh, there's a trap here. Can we move that trap? Well, we could move uh, back to here. Nah, Polly can't, can't always get hit like that. Cool. So uh, let's start. We are carefully moving up. Hitting the first boar. And then we're moving back. Every time kills a unit, we gain a Valor. I want to keep that in mind. End of turn. Alright, Namri. 
I would love to use the bear trap, but somehow that's not going to work out, I think. Moves up here. And has now officially engaged. Combat. Well, end of turn. Oh, that's too dangerous. We have two more turns, and then it's the boar's turn. Moves up. Hits the boar. And ends turn. I want a Vela point. That boar has already acted. Okay, well, now we're engaged in combat. Not the end of the world. Don't want to disengage for now. Instead, we're moving to here. Trying to get that sweet, sweet Vela point. There we go. End of turn. Moves up. Slashes him. Ends the turn. No, we want to not let them flee. End of turn. I think we could get more meat if we're sta staying with them. New round is starting. Let's injure it. Well, unfortunately, we also killed it. Cool. Fantastic. Food, food, pristine fangs. Grease and two pelts. I think we're just looting all of it. That's great. And Polly has just gotten a level up. So what are we going to do? Berserker. Strengths plus one. Strengths plus one. Strengths plus one. Okay, cool. So Rampage. Deals three times more. Three times more. Three to four damage to the target. Um, not a hundred percent sure what that means, but I think it is three slashes. The tooltip here is wrong. Deals three damage to all the units in the target area. It takes one time for each unit in the area. Available with medium armor, heavy armor. All allies get repost. The next time this unit is attacked by their engaging op opponent, they attack in return with an attack of opportunity cancelled if we lose movement. That's actually a really strong ability. So the question is, is this going to be like our um, pure damage dealer? Or, or are we going to have a couple of defensive skills. So what else does he have available? Unit gets deflection if they are engaged combat. Hit several enemies. Well, that's not bad. I like the idea of a repost, but it costs us two ovation. Uh, it costs us two of these Valor points. And it is only available 
or maybe it says that he can now wear heavy armor. I like it. I will take it because my uh, complaint with this character so far is great damage, but way too squishy. So heavy armor would be good. More damage. And here we would have uh, plus 2% critical strike. So apparently there's always kind of one random attribute that uh, allows to be leveled up two times. I like the idea of him being a crit machine. Movement plus one isn't fully worth it. It's almost like strength is better, but critical hit determines the chance of an attack that will land a critical strike. I tell you what, for now, I think we're just going with that extra plus one. I like the idea. A little bit of a base value uh, raise, 6% base value, Bloodthirsty and Tinkerer. That's always, uh, already 11%, so that's not too bad. And we now have Ovation as an ability, plus we can wear heavy armor. Oh, we just need to be able to craft heavy armor, I suppose. Good, that's ore. Yeah, go ahead. Don't be too shy. Pick it up. Thank you. Good, now we're finally traveling up. Please, untie me. Lahart's goons could be here any minute. They want to take me back to Edoran. I'm no danger to anyone. They're after me because I deserted. You can't imagine what they do to artisans like me and Artes. Count Lahart treats us worse than slaves. Well, we could try to release him, but that requires lockpicks, right? What else can we click? I like this little interaction. Oh, there's even stuff that you can pick up. I should pay better attention to all of the clickable items. Okay, well, so you're getting used to it. Um, we we want to try to free him from his shackles. So lock pick it is. Let's craft one for now because because I want to still go for the cooking pot and we need iron ore for that. Good. Next up, what do we want to do? Your troop improves their armor maintenance, repair materials, and village blacksmiths restore five additional armor points. So it's not bad. Hmm, the run feat might not be bad. But I think we're going to go for frugality. Companions will search bodies in the most incongruous places uh, to find crowns. That is not bad either. Good. Back to the abandoned tower. Back to him. New profession, thief. Oh, well, what does thief give? Plus one dexterity, just like alchemist. Guess what? Dilly G is going for it. 
rotate the pick and press um, to enter the lock. The closer the pick is to an opening, the more it lifts up. But if it jiggles too much, it might break. Well, that seems quite easy. Thank you. I'll work for anyone, except Count Lahar. Take me with you, and lead me to my future boss. I may not have the gold to pay you, but times like these, I imagine he'll pay handsomely for a man of my talent. Ooh, okay. What is he doing? So, okay, oh, all right, all right. So he is a blacksmith. Uh, one that cannot fight. There's so much stuff here that I would love to loot, but apparently none of that is available to be looted. Having a deserted troop could draw unwanted attention. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, that kind of goes without saying. Okay, he can't craft for us, but it would have been great if he could. Not sure what exactly it means that there is zero out of one crafter. Wait, who is the crafter? No, you are not. Okay, produces material during each rest, and that produces happiness. All right, I see. Cool. I'm starting to understand the system. Where do we need to get him to? Man and chains, complete. Well, I do have an idea who would be a willing to hire you, but we're not going to go there yet. There is still a different mission that I would like to attend first. There are a couple of goons on the way, apparently. Okay, never mind. Two poacher and one hoodlum. All level one. Let's start the fight. Still not 100% sure how retreating works. We wouldn't need to do that yet. These guys have poison daggers, which absolutely stinks. Outlaws, hoodlums. Lightning will strike there very soon. And then there we do have a poacher here. And another poacher over there. Okay, so first things first. The poacher over here is pretty far away, uh, which means it's likely not going to work out for him. What is this underground? Mud slows down all movement. Well, that is an advantage for units like our archer question is are we just going to shoot with the archer 10 and 16 is not good enough to kill we need potentially more of a front line yeah, we're going to go in here and we're just going to shoot. Delhi needs to tank a shot. It is what it is.
moves over to here carefully. And then nicely hits his comrade there. Ends the turn. Oh wow, well, that's a lot of damage. Moves up. Big damage from behind. And let's move to here. End of turn. I should have moved to here so that we were out of line of sight. Perfect time for repost. And such a good time to give him a strike. Move up. We're now getting a bonus. Ooh, seven points of damage. Where is the repost? Nope. No repost. Okay. That guy is next, then that guy, which means we have enough time to start here. Tell you what, we could theoretically move to here. Let's start here. Hits him, kills him. And we're moving over to uh, the other poacher. End of turn. Takes a little bit of damage. Nice critical hit. And whilst we're at it, moving over, we can move to the poacher or to that guy afterwards. End of turn. Which brings us to Dilly. They valiantly continuing to harass that poacher. Good shot. Oh yeah, we're taking some damage as well. Okay, so that poacher acts next, which means we want to very much engage him in melee combat. That way we reduce his actual damage output drastically. Next up, this guy. All right. Moving up. Doing the exact same here. And we'll get an extra Valor point. Good job. Well done, Dilly. And in the meantime... We will need to be careful here. Taking a lot of damage. All 
All right, I don't want to take any risks. There is the kill. And I think we're okay with letting them flee. Healing everyone, repairing everyone. And we got great daggers, cloth, money, and we're good. Please have mercy, good sirs. Have mercy on us. We didn't attack you to hurt you. Believe me. We only wanted to scare you. Please don't hurt me. It was wrong and we knew it. But Gothenburg requires so much gold to cross the border that we had no other choice. We have no other Well, choice. I'm I would love to give you I would love to give you anything but an execution, but apparently that is not even possible. Okay, well, how will that end? That is a great question. This is the perfect cliffhanger for episode number two. Uh, we have valiantly fought our uh, way through all of this, and now on top of it, we're uh, getting into yet the next fight. Uh, but that will happen in the next episode. Uh, if you want to distract the boar, take a, apparently taking a shot of Brandy is the right way to go. So what I would ask you to do is pour Brandy all over the like button of this channel to help us to be just slippery enough to distract these boars. Thanks you, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.